Hey, Justin Abel here with STL Tones, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add your own individual models into existing artist presets. So for this first example, let's use a lead vocal. So I pulled up this Aaron Sprinkle indie pop vocal preset. Here it is, I'll bypass it on and off. Between the heart that you kept when you left and you took back all the love you gave. So I love what this is doing. Uh, I know that I'm gonna wanna roll off a little bit of low end really quick. Between the heart that you kept when you left and you took back all the love you But I think it'd be really cool to have a little bit more drive and saturation behind the vocal. So we can go over to the color section and we can load in our own individual models. Let's go ahead and do Distressor Distortion 2. Between the heart that you kept when you left and you took back all the love you gave. Between the heart that you kept when you left and you took back all the love you gave. That has a little bit too much top for me. Let's go ahead and try the, the Wes Audio Dione. Between the heart that you kept when you left and you took back all the love you gave. Between the heart that you kept when you left and you took back all the love you gave. Between the heart that you kept when so yeah, that individual model for the high THD on the Dione sounds really cool on this vocal. It adds like a nice kind of like body and grit to him. So I'm really into that. So I could easily just go up to here to my presets and I can save this as Aaron Sprinkle Vocal Starter. So now I can recall that setting anytime I want to. Or say I wanted to turn this vocal into more of like a lo-fi vocal. I could pull up something like this, Colin Richardson's vocal telephone. This is what it sounds like. Between the heart that you kept when you left and you took back all the love you gave. So that sounds cool, but in my opinion for this, it's a little bit too clean. So let's go ahead and try something. Let's try the Deja Vu Maxed. I mean, that sounds great. I want to hear the distressor because it has a little bit more top end. And then I could even go over here and add a compressor. I can add the 20 to 1 distressor. Man, once again, I really like how that sounds. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save this. It's kind of cool, you can start building up your own presets and your own versions of, of other artist presets and start to really make this plug in your own. Next, let's move on to a drum example. So here are a stereo pair of rooms. This is what it sounds like without anything on. And this is with Daniel Bronstein's Room Energy. This is such a heavy handed preset, but man, it sounds so good. I feel like it could have a different drive character to it. So let's go ahead and experiment a little bit. Let's try the Deja Vu. We'll try the Distressor. Wow. Man, so that's a good example. Soloed, it sounds a little crazy, but within the drum mix, if I kind of bury this a little bit more. That's doing a lot. For this next example, let's do a beefy guitar. So here's one of the main chorus guitars. This is without anything on. And then here's with Chris Crummett Fizz Fixer. It just adds such a nice weight, but let's go ahead and just see how we can change the color of it. Let's try the Distressor. It's a little too fizzy. Let's try the Dione. Me. 
So I hope you're starting to see, when you start adding your own individual models into pre-existing artist presets, it really opens up this cool collaborative side of Control Hub where you can have, you know, the attitude and just the overall chain that the artist was intending, but you can add your own flavor to it and create something that's truly unique. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions about Control Hub or if you wanna try it for yourself, go ahead and head over to stltones.com.